god. There's so many of them. Holy shit. There's one at the bottom where he's fucking flexing. Look at the third to last one. Holy shit. Look at the drip. Look at the fucking drip. Holy fucking shit. His drip. The pig polo? Oh, you have a different order. No, he's got a black leather jacket for me. Sup, Skyflock? I'm good. Thank you. Sup, Captain? Yeah, it's fucking insane picture. I've never seen that one before. We'll see how good this is. Brrr. Definitely good enough to continue. 30? 29. Hey, Nick. I expect the streaming in the morning kind of thing to be more gradual, like... Like, I expect to be streaming, like, later than this. Like, little by little. Just cause lol. I don't function off of a 24 hour clock. Thanks for the missing no text, Nate. Thanks, Depp. Thanks, Boten. I mean, I just want to work towards that Hell Mage. I think YouTube is a safer bet, but recently I've been having more fun with streaming overall. YouTube is riskier, but also safer in some sense, because, you know, I'd be a slave to the YouTube algorithm, in a sense. But at the same time, like, I'd only have to... Only so many videos would have to hit the algorithm. This is an insane satellite so far. Five. I'll take the five, dude. I'll take the five. Give me those pears. Mmm, give me those pears. Holy shit, this is good. Oh my god. Dude. Couple singles at the end. Slowed it down a bit, but yeah, that's good. Gonna be ahead here by a lot.
what, in the last five, five years? Also, I mean, it depends, because I mean... Okay, I'll just say this. That's a very vague statement, because I got, I got omissions world record, like, a month ago. Goofy took it back, but... Like, so a month ago? Not really. <clears throat> Before that, you know, I got another record in 2018. And then, like, probably one in 2017. Also, Jack 3 all missions. So, like, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific. Thanks, Morris. Thanks, guy. Yeah, that was a couple of days ago. Unfortunate. Shoot the egg! Hang on! I'd say the biggest thing that was found in the last, like this year, was probably Freefall. It didn't seem very big at first, but I knew it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna be big. Like, I had a good feeling it was gonna get utilized. I probably used it the most out of all the players, honestly. Like, I had a talk with Goofy yesterday over VC, and he said he only really uses it like two or three times in, in the whole run, and I use it like far more. This is another good old 10-12. I smell. That was actually perfect. 
I couldn't have paused that a better time. That loading time seemed faster. <laughs> Holy shit, that seemed like at least half a second faster. 90k, baby! <laughs> yeah, 10-12 is like seemingly what I get the most, honestly. I get 10-12 all the time. Was, yeah. It's the pendant by game, mage. A lot of people assume load list like completely fixes everything. Uh, but for example, if, if the entirety of Ratchet and Clank would be loadless, <clears throat> for example, like, it would cut out a lot of movement. Like, saving and loading back to the start of the planet would be the optimal strat if it was loadless for a lot of planets. Which, like, nobody wants that because it cuts out movement in the run. Beautiful. How the fuck is that not a gold? I am stunned that isn't a gold. The drive was good. The climb was good. I'm pretty surprised. That is annoying. That is annoying. Especially when it's like a new pair of underwear, you know. You just like fucking drip in them. It's annoying, man. They talk about loads and stuff like that all like... People have very strong opinions about this sort of stuff. I don't really feel the need to share anything because, like, most people won't agree with me. What's my opinions on loads? Ah, it's nothing like... I don't really care, oh, like, overall. I feel like, I feel like the best we can do for Jack is like, as long as, I remember back in the day, Raccoon had like an overall four or five second load advantage on me back in the day, which actually mattered because the game was actually that optimized six years ago, but I mean, looking back, we could have pushed him way further, so. 
I think thinking about it today, those five seconds don't really matter ultimately. Thanks, Normandy. Yo, real tip for anybody using uh, t uh, sub emotes. Instead of typing out the emote, just type colon that. Or type colon and then like the prefix. And then you'll, you'll see a list of emotes come up. Mobile though? All oh, right. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll give you one take, Dylan. And like, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like last time I said something, like, just got made fun of. I just don't want, just don't like that sort of stuff. Like, last time I sort of talked about, like, legacy in speedrunning and stuff like that. And how I think it does matter without it discrediting newer runners putting in a lot of effort. And it got taken out of context really hard. And I don't really like that. So I feel like if I say something again, it'll just get taken out of context super hard. But I mean, uh, I've always been on the on the train that I don't really like long, along the removal in, in Ratchet 2, specifically. I think, uh, I mean, call me a psycho, but... <laughs> I think waiting for the correct loads to hit the right run is a patience test. I think patience is a... Like, I think patience is a huge part about speedrunning. I think how long you're willing to grind or how long you're willing to wait is extremely, um, like, valuable. Imagine there are... I remember um, there's loads of payday, uh, like there was a payday speed run of the, where they have a file that RNG manipulated the, the painting minigame or like the painting mission where instead of, so there's like so many fucking spots that the paintings can spawn in um, for you to steal them in the correct spots for the heist. There's like over 50 spots and you need to steal 60 paintings. All right. You need to steal six paintings, I think, and there's like at least 50 or 40 spots where they can pop up in. So you want like the, the six closest ones, which is obviously an astronomically small chance. So what they do is they, they literally just play on a hacked file that has the correct paintings in them. So all you have to do now is like is an execution test. And I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Because imagine in Goldeneye how fucking tied Frigate Agent would be if somebody played on a hacked file to get the correct hostages every time. I think you should 100% grind for for the right paintings. It shows a player's ability to, to adapt to paintings that aren't always fast. It shows guard reactions. Um, it shows a lot more skill. I think. I think playing on a hacked file is ridiculous. But if you enjoy it, I don't think anybody should, like, discourage you from doing that. I just think for, like, a leaderboard. I can see both sides. I can definitely not. I can definitely see it for long load removal in Ratchet. But the whole painting thing in, in Payday 2, like, no way in hell. If you try to bring that same sort of concept up in, in Goldeneye or Perfect Dark... Nobody would want to do that at all. And yeah, you could say like, oh, well, you're, you're all boomers. You guys have kept the game the same forever. And it's like, maybe, maybe it's just like not to, uh, like, that was definitely a bad fade out. It's like, yeah, well, you're all boomers and like, you've kept the game the same the whole time. But like, it's also discrediting like the history. So like, if we all started using a hack file for a frigate and we all got the best hostages, um, 
it would discredit the people that have actually grinded like hundreds of hours and stuff. Like, I'm not saying that you shouldn't change things just for the integrity of, like, of older stuff. I do think that there is a warrant to that. I remember the slightly the slightly the boards like cleaning up shit of stuff that had no video. And even though they were like six or seven years old, even if they were like considered legendary runs or like, you know, older runs of, of some kind. If they were old and they didn't have a video, they didn't belong on the boards. And I agree with that 100%. No, I mean, GoldenEye does not have a separate category, not like that. Like it's a completely different like game. It's a very separate speed game. There usually isn't like a, there's, it's just beat the stage as quick as you can, really. Like there's no other category. I think playing on a hacked file like that, it can just easily make a anything just maxed out. Like if you if you make if you play on a hacked file in Payday 2 and you play the painting painting mission on a hacked file and you get like an absolute god run and because the game tracks a full second timer as well, a full second IGT. Um like how are you gonna get any lower than that? Like, you're more likely to max it out. I think it's more exciting for the for the next person in line to sort of look at that run and go, okay, he got those paintings. Is that improvable? Sure, I guess by some... It's just that, like, thought going around in the community of like, like, what if you got better paintings than that? What if you got better luck? What if someone's crazy enough to grind that? You know? Something like that. Like, that talk motivates people like it motivates people to be like i want to be that guy i want to be that guy that's going to beat this this crazy run with even better luck even better paintings even better execution things like that you know instead of just like playing on a hacked file and being like oh i'll tie that i guess there's no incentive to try and beat it i feel like there's no incentive to enjoy of enjoyment in that and that's just my opinion. I think if you want to play on it, go ahead. I'm not calling my opinion, uh, you know, the valid one or anything like that. It's just what I think. Um, I'm a bit more old school in that regard, and I think that's fine. I think that should also be respected. I think they're both definitely like a valid way of playing the game for sure, but I do think that for like an official leaderboard Make it across. Holy shit. Uh, it shouldn't be a hack file at all I might actually die. Yeah, okay. Uh, didn't you guys not use like voice audio recently? Oh, speech volume. Yeah, speech volume zero is apparently only faster in all missions, so I don't use it for no oob. For Jack 3, anyway.
uh, the communicator that pops up where like a character will speak to you over the over the communicator um, it is turned off completely like nobody speaks to you um, while that's up it is in all missions it saves time in all missions but there's no instance in Oob where it's better there's a mission in all missions uh, which is destroy dark plants let me just focus actually Um, you, you can't end the mission Dark Plant. Like, you have to wait for a specific dialogue to go away at the end of Dark Plants before the mission can end, and that loses, like, 10 seconds. So by playing with Speech Volume Zero, uh, the communicator doesn't pop up, and you can jump into the end mission trigger right away. It's difficult, Dex. The angle is incredibly tight. I practice it a lot. Angle some Tash shit, honestly. It is faster, Dex, but it's really, really hard. It's a lot harder than you think. Because your angle is blind completely, and the door is really fucking tiny. We were gonna make one, Mocha, but nobody was working on it at all. Like, a couple people submitted clips for the video, but like, everybody... It was sad too, because there was like a couple people that... I got approached to make a second one. People were like, we want to do a second one. And so I was like, okay, I'll start it up. And then they never made clips. And... So, I scrapped it. I deleted the Discord. Because <laughs> nobody was doing anything. I was thinking about just doing like one myself. It's far safer to just go off the jet board, yeah, Dex? I'm gonna lose a handful of seconds here. I mean, that was relevant for the time. Not just one, okay.
do it. Okay. Bad jump. Hey, uh, I'll be honest with you guys, for the first time since I came back, I'm nervous. My heart is definitely like 110 right now, 120. Solid 120, 130 now. This is like the first time where I'm actually nervous. I was I was at least 140 at the start of BTR. Then I started calming down a bit. I got in the zone a bit. It's um, it's definitely soothing me a bit that like my neighbors like look like mowing the lawn really like nice and smooth. It's like I'm on pace in my own house or in my own apartment. Like I'm on super good pace, and they're just like going on with their day. You know, they're just like chilling outside. Like they're just. You know, their morning's just going. <clears throat> I'm confident, though. Yeah, I could tell the difference. Somebody was fucking out with a chainsaw yesterday. Oh, I hope I don't fucking die on this stupid fucking free fall, man. This free fall is scary. 140 ammo. Very quick. Moment of truth, y'all. Yup. Let's fucking go. Woo! Let's go, boys. Holy shit. Holy shit. What a run. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, what a run. What a rush right now. Got it. Got to hit fast cycle though. Still have a bit left. Oh, this is this is what I speed run for. This is what you speed run for. What a good feeling. Wow, I saved time there. That's impressive actually. Whew. This is what we all speed run for, is that hands are super sweaty. And has that adrenaline, man. Is that rush in your veins? My heart rate is like doom 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 doom. All right, let's focus up. Let's bring it home, baby.
Here it is, boys. I'm gonna focus. 100% gonna focus. This has a chance at world record, I think. Beautiful climb. Come on! Fuck! I think I threw it. Yeah, I threw it. I had bad ammo at the start. I'm re I, regardless, I'm fucking happy with this, I think. Dude, I didn't have fucking ammo at the start. Come on. I don't know what causes that extra fucking enemy to pop up. Died. He didn't. Oh, this is a bad boss. Oh, okay, guys. I have bad news. I have bad news. I'm losing like 15 here. I have very bad news. I'm losing like 15 here. I don't really know why I'm losing so much time on final boss. Like, there's. I'm getting these, like, enemy spawns that are, like, extra. I'm losing at least 15 here. I'm still happy with this, dude. Fuck, dude. I don't know what- I need to practice final boss. It's been going wrong way too often. I'm a little disappointed I didn't finish it very strong- like as strong as I did. I'm just nervous, I think. Why is why? I don't know why Final Boss has been just going so wrong lately. Especially the first couple phases. Like, he's gonna fire one A very, very good Final Boss will get this hit with this laser at 3 minutes on the dot. And it's gonna be like 316, 315. Yeah, 3, yeah. That's a shame, dude. Alright, let's hit this laser skip. Should have had it. I think that's it. I definitely think that's it. Want? Holy shit, dude. What a fucking run. Woo! What a run, boys. I wish the final boss was better, but it's alright. Let's fucking go, boys! 41-33. Woo! Alright, I can say this. I don't think it was world record regardless. I needed like a god- I, le I needed an unrealistically good final boss if I wanted to get world record. So I'm, I'm okay with that actually. I, I thought I was a lot closer than I was. Holy fucking shit. Oh, that's- that's really good. That's really good. That's a great run. Excellence. Excellence, excellence.
What can I say, dude? I had... I had a stomach pain yesterday going to bed, and I woke up in like a panic after one hour, and I... I... I went out into my garden, like the one we share with our apartment. I laid down in the grass to feel better with music in my ears. And within a, within a couple minutes of looking at the sky, I saw a shooting star. And you know when you see a shooting star, you gotta make a wish. My wish had nothing to do with this run at all. Because I'm just that confident I can improve. I just wanted to feel better. That was my wish. I want the stomach pain to go away. <laughs> Let's go, boys! Let's fucking go! 41-33. Woo! I didn't wish for shit regarding speedrunning because I'm just, I'm just that confident. Yeah, that was a nice ass run, man. I had some sloppy mid game stuff, but like that was a nice run, man. That was just overall really good. You know, five doubles, not a terrible proxy. Just some good segments. End game was nice. <sighs> I don't think I can play anymore after that. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I don't think I can play more after that. Good feeling, man. Hey, thanks for everything, partner. You are a great hero, Daxter. Sick run, man. It's just a sick time. Sick run. Just, I I don't know if you guys have noticed. I mean, you probably have. I don't need to point it out every time, but I've just been playing so good, man. Where do you think you're going, little bugger? I've just been playing so fucking well. I I my consistency is absurd. Recently. I don't know what it is. One would assume... Oh, one would assume I'm like... Cheating or something. <laughs> I really don't get it. I don't get it. These PBs are not that easy to beat. Oh, man. GG, man. GG. Matt 13 is getting a timeout. Ben has redeemed the 20,000 channel points to timeout Matt 13. The deed has been done. I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. In vain of Matt. I have something that he will want to see once he's out of his 10 minute corner. It, yeah. I, I'm I'm so stoked, man. Oh my god, I'm getting so good at this game, boys. I'm back. I'm back. I still got it. I still got it. I still got it, dude. Oh my fucking god. I'm in the Deo Man situation right now. I'm in the Deo Man situation. It's just next run. Any run, next run. Next up is either 4130, uh, sub 4130 or world record. Confidently, I can say, I definitely think I can get world record now. It's going to be really fucking hard because this run is really good. I'm definitely going to put some fucking hours into final boss. I'm going to figure out. I used to have it down like back in the day, but now I fucking don't know why. I think it's my, the way I use my ammo is not good just like i'm not I'm, I'm using my ammo way too fucking much overall so it's just tough
that palace bonk and final boss pretty much. No, there was way more than that. No, this was this was five. If you do get oh okay, right. Yeah, I mean this is like the luck was not the luck was average in this run. The Ashland was kinda shit, actually. Like the Ashland was good, but the fade out took forever, man. Um tokens was a bad drive. I had so many cars get in my way. I think I just went too greedy. I tried to get too many boosts. And I lost like five seconds on the drive to the temple. Jet board test, I had like a small mistake. Because I I bumped the rotator. Um, Eco Mine and Bomb Train were just superb. Palace was good. BTR, I'll take 205. You know, 205 is great. I hit the Dark Ship thing. Terraformer, I hit Fast Cycle. Man, I wish Dark Maker was a little better. It would have been 41.2x if I just played it a bit better. But I'll, I'm going to look into it next time. That's all I can say for now. Like, I'm going to look into it next time. I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm just happy. What can I say? That's what I was thinking. I, I actually think if you guys will give me 10 minutes, I know I've barely been doing attempts. Like I've been streaming for that. I got this run. This was my first run out of flag proxy. I think I would do GeoGuessr, but I think you guys actually might want to. Does anyone want to play? Anyone want to play marbles? Does anyone want to play marbles? I'll need some time. I'll need some time because I I haven't updated it in like years. But dude, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Yeah, you know, you know it. That's what I used to say. Um, yeah. I mean, before before the credits end, shout out to Rick Ya in in the in the credits. Let's get some let's get some shit going here. Holy fucking shit, I've never seen this many. There it is, boys. The crash screen for the 4133. <sighs> I'm so happy, man. This is just a great run. I think this is like really my first great PB. Um, I don't know what to say, though. Like, thank you all so much for the support. I've had a lot of, uh, success with streaming recently. I've had a lot of success with streaming recently. I was afraid YouTube was kind of the only way out, and I didn't always want to edit. I don't always want to make videos, because I, I am a competitor on the inside, you know? Like, I do want to compete with myself, with others. Um... All it took was just to have some fun with the game. Um, but yeah, here we are. Here we are. Neck and neck with Goofy. I didn't expect to ever see this. I really didn't think I'd ever have it in me anymore. Like, especially with no oob. But, I do. I'm stoked. I'm really stoked. <sighs> 